I've walked through this house and I've seen the damage that has been done to it as a result of Hurricane Katrina. The foundation on this house is cracked and is also causing the uh, interior floor to be unstable. This whole ceiling at any moment could fall down and quite frankly this is this is a dangerous house to live in. I'm scared to go into my mom's bathroom because the floor looks like it would fall in if anything touched it. Anything happens, I can't do anything to stop it. I no help. Hi, ABC. We're the Heathcock family from Hattiesburg, Mississippi. Hi, I'm Gina, and I'm the mom. This is my husband, Sherman. He's in Iraq, and he's the dad. Hi, I'm Annie, and I'm 12 years old. Hi, I'm Gary, and I'm 10 years old. Hi, I'm Tessa, I'm 7 years old. Welcome to our home. Sherman Heathcock's military career began during the first Gulf War, when he enlisted in the Army National Guard. After his term of service ended, Sherman began a career protecting their community by serving as Deputy Sheriff of Hattiesburg and a SWAT team leader. When you think about Sherman, you think of a man who has literally put his life on the line for everybody all the time, every day. And we rely on Sherman Heathcock to keep us safe. After the events of 9-11, Sherman felt a call to national duty once again and he re-enlisted in the National Guard. I'm very proud of my dad for all the things he does. He commands the rescue team, and he's keeping them safe, just like, just like he keeps all of us safe. It's a very scary situation for me, but I know that Sherman believes in what he's doing. I know he's making a difference, and I know that there are people that are safer because we're doing this. If we didn't have people like Sherman who was willing to make sacrifice to put himself out there, where would our country be? While Sherman risked his life leading rescue missions in Iraq, Hurricane Katrina swept through Mississippi. Sherman couldn't get in touch with us for days. He didn't know where we were, if we were OK, if our house was still standing. There were trees all over our roofs. The structural damages were devastating. We used the insurance money we had, but we didn't have any extra money. And the damages to the house were so bad, and they just continued to snowball until it got out of control. And it's in the situation that it's in now. I'm Stead McCullough. I'm an architect in Hattiesburg, Mississippi. I've walked through this house, and I've seen the damage that has been done to it as a result of Hurricane Katrina. The foundation on this house is cracked and is also causing the uh, interior floor to be unstable. This whole ceiling at any moment could fall down, and quite frankly, this is, this is a dangerous house to live in. I'm scared to go into my mom's bathroom because the floor looks like it would fall in if anything touched it. Anything happens, I can't do anything to stop it. I no help. I feel helpless because I don't know how to fix it. Wish more than anything, Sherman was here because when he's here, I know that everything's going to be OK. Good morning, Heathcock family! Gina, Annie, Gary! Right off the bat, you can see there are leaks in the ceiling that are gigantic. Once that kind of structural damage is done, it has a ripple effect on other parts of the house. The foundation in some parts is not only cracked and crumbling, but in some areas it's just missing. You're dealing with something that has to be fixed from the ground up. Put the ball there. And... Oh, no way. Yeah. It goes over here. Not level. Not level. Completely not level. This is our kitchen. Not a lot in here works. <laughs> my wow. stove Look might be Look how old from this thing is. 1950. It doesn't work, but it's vintage. If this doesn't work, what do you use to cook? I, I cook in this. You're the, kidding me. I mean, that's a toaster oven. It is. Wow. Sit. Hut, hut, hut. So this is, uh, oh, this is the two girls. Yes. So someone's into uh, dolls. Oh, look how cute. You know, I had one of these when I was little. I'm shocked. Let me guess what color it was. Pink. Mm. 
These are my green kid badges. Your green kid badges. What's that? What's a green kid? It says little kids can make a big difference. Make a difference today and pledge to keep the world green. We're trying to encourage more recycling. Mm -hmm. And awesome. it's going it's going really good. Is that your idea? Yes. You started sir. it? Yes, sir. Brains, heart, lungs. Gary loves sports and science. Perfect combination. So before you guys go on vacation, I want you to see the faces of the people that are gonna be building your home. And here they come right now. street and there are hundreds of people walking towards us to fix this house so that we could be safe and it was overwhelming. Well this is our builder uh, this week Dave Thompson with AAA Homes and his partners uh, Gary Fordham and Lee Everett. Perfect. Nice. Thanks for that. It's all about Hattiesburg coming together to offer you and your family a wonderful home. You won't have to worry about being safe anymore. All of those worries and concerns, those things you've been fretting about at night, they're gone. I cannot express to each and every one of y'all what this means to our family. And thank you from the bottom of our hearts, you're changing our lives. And that home is gonna be filled with as much love as y'all are showing us right now forever. <laughs> Cellulose insulation is made from wood fiber. Wood fiber. So it's recycled newspapers and phone books. And the bills in this house will be about 20 to 40 percent less than a conventional really? house. We got this card, it took 12 hours on the CNC uh, routing machine. All these are letters saying, I love you, I love you, I really, really, really love you. So Beautiful. this is gonna be the top of the box. Okay. And this is wiggle board that I'm gonna try and... Wiggle board. Wiggle board, see, because it's... Oh, yeah, look at that. I'm What's... literally making a heart-shaped box because the letters that Sherman writes home, they're a precious gift and like a treasure. I want them to have a special place to put those letters. And I think Gina really needs that place to know that these special, beautiful things go right in this special place.